Because I think the, the trick is, it's whatever the producer, the engineer wants to get sound wise, that's how they want to usually have the drums sound. But Nolly, you know, he actually just produced the Animals as Leaders record that's coming out soon. And uh, the drums sound awesome. So we should ask Nolly what he thinks about that. Uh, I'd say with drums, more than maybe any other instrument other than vocals on a recording, the key really is in the source sound. So you do just have to start with a good drum kit that's tuned well. And I'd say almost more important than the quality of the drum kit would be head choice and tuning. Um, and you know, try and get the best sound you can without using moon gel. And then maybe apply some, maybe one piece of moon gel on the snare, maybe moon gel the undersides of the toms to stop them ringing on a bit too much. Once you've got the kit sounding good, oh, and I should also mention good cymbals. There's nothing you can really do if the cymbals don't sound good. Uh, then it really comes down to mic placement. And uh, as an engineer, the thing which you have to trade off is the quality of the sound you're getting from the microphone and the position in terms of how much bleed it's picking up. Because the snare might sound awesome with the mic in one place, but it might also pick up a ton of hi-hat and china on there. You know, you'll, you'll figure out what it is that you like uh, to hear in the raw sounds because they generally need a lot of processing and the, the start point can sound quite dif different to the end. Um, but yeah, really stick to, uh, to well-tuned drums with quite thin heads, pretty much the thinnest heads we feel comfortable going, now, like uh, Ambrose on the snare or uh, G2 or even the G14, which I know is quite a thick head but it's still single ply. Um, and uh, the G14s on the tom sound really good too. I wish there was a straight answer. I guess the other thing would also be recording a good drum room. It's such a loud instrument, you really can't do anything about a bad sounding room because you'll just excite all sorts of horrible sounding reflections and whatnot. So, you know, that's one place where I'd really recommend spending money to go into a really nice studio um, with an engineer that knows what they're doing. Question over here. Gentleman with the excellent